Hello, Federico. Hello, Cindy. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm fine. A little tired, but fine. Okay. Did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. A little bit, teacher. Uh huh. Because today I went to the laboratory and I don't like to take a blood test. How yeah. do you say exam? Yeah. yeah, a blood test. Blood yes. Exam. Yes. Okay. But I'm going to be okay. Sure. You gotta have a positive attitude. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, uh, it's necessary. It, it's yes, not optional. Yes, it's necessary. Exactly. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, it's true that I had to finish the exam in the last section to uh, Friday. You have to finish everything. And I had to finish at uh, 12 or 11 p.m. I'm not sure about the deadline, uh, but I know there is a limit. So try to do the work before the date um, is due. Okay. Yes. I I just I, I need to finish the section four in the last 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 exam. Okay. Good. Good. That's all. Today I'm right. going to finish that. I think. So. Okay. Good. Welcome, Teresa. Three people. Hello. Can you hear me? Sure. We can hear you, Teresa. How are you? I'm sorry for. The two days that I lost. Sorry for my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have internet. Oh, really? It was a claro problem. So sorry. Really? No, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, it happens. It's normally. <laughs> two days is nothing. You know, there was a time that we didn't have internet for like two weeks at home. <laughs> and, and claro never came to fix the situation. They yeah, said, oh, we're, we're, we're working, we're working. Uh, we mm -hmm. know the report and everything. So we were two weeks without internet at home. Oh, no. I can imagine that. Yep. yep two so. weeks, no. Teacher, yep. you, feel, you feel like a homo sapiens. Like who? <laughs> homo sapiens. <laughs> what do you do mean? You know why it's that. No. Uh, I don't know, but I, I talking about the cavernas. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Hey, what you oh. Say. Caveman. <laughs> yeah, caveman. Yes, K caveman. Yeah, caveman. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was sending signals with smoke and everything. <laughs> All right. So welcome everybody. Thank you for being on time. Today is uh, November sixth. So tomorrow we finish our first week of the month. Yes. And tomorrow we finalize the course. Yes. Teacher, teacher is through this. This is the last level. No, nah, not the last level. So can I continue? Of course you can. Okay. Yes, you can continue. This is intermediate or advanced teacher. I don't know. <laughs> teacher. So, Cindy, you, you don't know which level you are in. <laughs> no, teacher. Advanced, I think so. I don't remember. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> just, just stay in the class and... Intermediate is teacher. <laughs> Now, this is advanced. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay, good. So, let's talk about yesterday. Uh, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? We are going to talk about uh, how to eat the pendant clouds. Now, the first 
clouds and the second clouds. Uh, oh, I, condition. Oh, and I, I'm losing. I, a little bit. <laughs> Ready? Condition. 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 Yes, condition. Yes. Yes, so we were talking about conditionals, first conditional and second conditional. So briefly, um, when when do we use the first conditional? Anybody? Uh, when you when we want to talk about present and the second one uh, it has to be in, in future. Very good. Um, something that you do now with a result or consequence in the future. Now remember, when you are using the first conditional, you can perfectly start with the future part and finish with, uh, with the other part, which is the simple present. So you can say, you will fall if you don't tie your shoes, you know. That is first conditional, but we're using um, the structure in a different form. But the message is exactly the same. Okay, uh, what else? So that is the first conditional. What is the second conditional? Um, to talk about meta. I don't remember that word, teacher. Metals. Metals. Metals is right. Unreal uh, situation. Uh, okay. Uh, who said that? Unreal yeah. situation. You, teacher. Me. Oh, Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. Can you explain that, Douglas? What do you mean when we say unreal situations? It is, for example, you. You use that in, if it is like something unlikely that could happen or will happen, sorry. Okay, so when we use the second conditional, we're talking about unreal situations like Douglas says, at the time you're speaking, at the time okay. you're speaking. But you can change it. You can change it. So how do you say si yo bebiera agua? If, if I, I drink water. If I uh, drank, if I drank water. Okay. What is the past tense of drink? Drank. Drank. Drink. What? The past tense of drink is drink. Drink. Drunk How do you... is the past participle. Drink. Drink, mm -hmm. drank, drunk. So the, with D R A K. D R A N K. Drink. I uh, I can pronounce how they is it is drink. 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 So okay. Keep something in mind. When you guys are using the second conditional, you are using the past form of the verb. So in the case of drink, you have to say drink. So how do you say si yo bebiera agua? If I drink water. Uh -huh. If I drink water, I drink that is water. correct. How do you say si yo no bebiera agua? If I didn't drink water. Good. Good, if I didn't drink water. So it doesn't matter if the sentence is positive or negative, you must use the simple past tense. Okay. How do you say si usted estuviese aquí? If you were here. If you were here. How do you say si yo estuviese en sus zapatos? If I were in your shoes. Exactly. If I were in your shoes. So when you use the second conditional, you use the simple past uh, structure. Any questions? What? Questions, questions? No questions. No? Okay. Uh, 
have you had the chance to use the platform? Yes. Yes. Did you take the creative quiz? Creative. Yes. There is there is one part in the, the platform that is called the creative quiz. I sent you an image an image uh, to the WhatsApp chat. Did you receive it? Yes. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, so let me check this here, 8 to 9 p.m. Okay, um, can somebody read the first question, please, in, in the created quiz? Are you a risk taker? A risk taker? You, yes, are you a risk, a risk taker? taker? Now, of what is, course. What is, what is the meaning of risk taker? That you like to feel the adrenaline, teacher. Climbing okay. mountain or maybe lose a lot of money. Okay, so <laughs> risk taker can be something financial. Uh, it can also be about your safety, like uh, bungee jumping. Ah, uh, yes. That's extreme. Uh, second question, Jose, please. Are you naturally curious? Good. Number three, Maribel. For opportunities to improve things. Good. Mm -hmm. Number four, Lourdes. Are you sensitive to beauty? Very good. Julia, can you please read number five? Do you challenge accepted ideas? Very good. Douglas, what's number six? Do you keep an eye? Out for new fashions and products. Very good. Number seven, Nidia. Do you adapt easily to new situations? Very good. Freddy, what's the next one? Do you trust your guests, intuition, and insight? Very good. Cindy, what's number nine? Are you more interesting in the future than in the past? Very good. And the last one, Teresa? Do you have a creative sense of humor? All right. Good. Thank you. Are the questions clear? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is everything clear? All the questions clear? Yeah, I saw a word, teacher. What is insight? Insight. Yes. Read the, the whole sentence. Is it, do you trust your guesses? In, in, in what? Intuitions. Intuition and insight. Yeah, your insights. Can somebody explain the word insights? Uh, I insight. always r read the word in, in the platform where I administrate the social networking. Okay. Insight is something internal. There no. okay. Yes, like your feelings. Intuition? Intuition? Intuition is the same word like the one we have in Spanish. Intuition. Yes. Like so, teacher, inside in Spanish? Huh? Inside in Spanish. Yeah, what's inside of you? Interior. Uh, uh -huh. Inside. Interior. Okay. okay. Any other any other questions about uh, what we're going to discuss? No. Now remember, in the platform, you're gonna have to do the exercise alone, and you're gonna have to take the quiz. So right now, we're gonna do the speaking part. I'm gonna assign you. Um, let me see how many people we have here. Okay, we got 14 break rooms, 13, so we can make four. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello again. Hello again, teacher. 
Bides? Where's Mr. Bides? I guess he's, he's in... Maybe the... Is the, 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 the risk of a movie teacher, El Hombre Invisible. Yeah, invisible. The, the Invisible Man, maybe. The Shadow Man. Yeah, the Shadow yeah. Man. The Shadow Man. The Phantom. The Phantom, yeah. Okay. I, I saw a custom in Halloween. A custom? Custom, yes. What custom? custom? The Invisible Man. Really? For the South, yes, teacher in a party. I, no, I wasn't, I wasn't there. But in a party from United States. Oh. <laughs> Is it true? And, and how was he dressed if he was invisible? Uh, no, there is a part of the movie that he wear a, like a, um, how do you say it? A monster. Sudadera, how do you say, teacher? How do you say what? Sudadera. Sudadera? Sí. Sweater. A sweater, a hat, and, le and sunglasses. Okay. Ah, All right. You, you haven't watched the movie. No, not really. Ay, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave you guys alone. Be this Douglas and Cindy. Eh. Keep talking. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, people. <laughs> that I am curious. Yeah. And number number three. Do you look for opportunities to improve things? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. That's why I'm in, I am in this course. Good, uh, very good. Yes, exactly. I do. <laughs> yeah. That's a good it's answer. <laughs> yes, it is. And what do you think about number four? Are you sensitive to beauty? Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. I can say that uh, it's my case. It could be that sometimes it's more easy to for women to be sensitive to beauty i i guess yeah, yeah it, it's I true yes Men, we are yeah. like more like whatever you know <laughs> yeah. i mean we care about the way we look but not as much as the ladies <laughs> yes <laughs> That's, I think that that's why we are always um, thinking in details. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And what about number? I have to be uh, always. I, okay. In overall, I consider I have a, a curious personality, but. Uh, that it, it doesn't doesn't mean that I that I that I take my 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 responsibility as a job, uh, mm -hmm. but but definitely I have a too curious or so much curious. In, in some particular topic as a astrology as a uh, of an, antique history antique history mm -hmm. sorry, and, and top um, snakes <laughs> why are you saying wakala maribel Raccoon? Because he has he has eaten uh, snakes. My God. Okay. And uh, frogs too. No frogs. Who's that, Federico? Yes. Federico. Where where did you try snake, Federico? No, we are, we are talking about <clears throat> uh, if I'm I'm usually risk taker. A, a risk. 
tasting new new plates. All right. So you like to explore new things? Yes, yes, I, I like. In other countries, I, I prefer tasting uh, food that I have never, I have never tasted. Good, good. Unusual things. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I have about... eaten um, grasshoppers and uh, worms. Worms. The, yes. Worms, yes. yes. Worms like in Fresco de Arrayán or how? <laughs> no, maybe mango, but no, with chili and uh, they call it chamoy. It's a mixture of chili, powder uh -huh. chili, and tamarindo powder too, mm, salt, and lemon. It's Was that good. in Mexico? Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, nice. me Mexicans, they have some delicious food. Yes, yes. A lot of good food. What is that? No, no, but I, know, I don't know what part of the frog was because the girl just tell, tell, told me it's frog, but I don't know what part of the frog it is. And, so and how I, was the taste? I, I didn't feel not like chicken, not like anything. It was, uh -huh. I don't know. Normal meat. Yes, yes. All right. So you don't have a uh, yeah. Okay, which number are you doing right huh? now? Which one? Teacher, teacher yes, how do yes, you yes, say? One. Teacher, yes, teacher, yes, how Mariano. do you say ask or nasty? Ask or nasty? Uh, well, like uh, when you like you said wakala in English, you say yuck. 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 Or you can say it is disgusting. Yeah, exactly. But the expression that you use is like yuck. Yuck. So when Federico says yuck. I, yuck. I ate snake before, you know, Maribel, instead of saying wakala, she should have said yuck. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you naturally curious, Maribel and Federico? No, uh -huh. no, I'm not. I'm not curious. And you? Um, rarely. Okay. I'm not curious. I no, I I rarely curious. No. I'm. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Vibes. Well, maybe he can hear, uh, uh, listen to us, sorry. Yes. But I don't know. Okay. So. The, okay, the fourth question is, are you sensitive to beauty? Mm. Sensitive. In, independent beauty, because we have a strange beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't understand uh, the question. It's like, do you care a lot about beauty? Yeah, I, I imagine that. Uh huh. No, teacher, it's not important to me. Everybody has their strange beauty. Yes. <laughs> yeah, physical beauty. Oh, it, we are, it's, teacher. It's secondary. It's secondary, yeah. Teacher, how do you say belleza rara? Weird or strange? Uh, weird. Weird beauty. Okay. In, in what case do you uh, use a strange? Oh, you could say strange too because they're synonyms. Okay. So, okay. okay. Weird, weird beauty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the next one it is to you challenge. challenge. Accepted idea. Accepted idea. So, my Finish. internet noise is good. We can we can hear you clearly. Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, which yes, number yes, are you doing? 
Actually, we, we are finished. We finished. We finished. Okay. So, are you talking about other topics? Yes. <laughs> <I'll leave. laughs> or did you stay quiet? No. 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 <laughs> who Who was having problems with internet? Me. <laughs> Julia. Julia, oh, yes. Julia, you're, you're in Santana, huh? Yes. Okay. But it's a little bad, my connection today. <laughs> okay, yeah, the place where I'm at right now was also uh, acting a little bit strange, you know. It was very slow and uh, it, it, was, it was a little bit unusual. Mm -hmm. Yep. But, yes. all right, so let's return to the main session. Okay. 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 All right, are you guys there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, were you able to finish all the questions? No. No, teacher. No, okay. Um, we're gonna do it um, a little bit fast here. Um, so let's see, Maribel, are you a risk taker? No, no. Uh, in my case, it's, uh, it's very, it's very, it's rarely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you prefer other people to take the risk for you? But it, it depends. In my, in my job, I, I think I'm a person, I'm a security, security person. Uh, I believe in me. So, uh, but in my, in my job, but for example, climb or uh, to be in highest, I don't like that. Okay, fine. Okay, um, Mr. Bides, are you naturally curious? Yes, I am. I think everybody. Okay. Yes, so, I am. What but about when they have? But uh -huh. when they have to res when they have to respect, I take the the distance. Okay. I'm not always in front of the situation. Okay. But yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody naturally, you know, we're we're curious yes. by nature. Yeah. We like to explore and everything. Ricardo, do you look for opportunities to improve things? Yes, for example, this is an example of sorry, this is an example of a opportunity to improve my English language. Good. And that's applied to another part of my life. Good, good. Uh, everybody in the group, you guys work for different institutions, uh, yes. different positions, everything. It doesn't yeah. matter what you do, but if you are bilingual, you are worth more. It doesn't matter if you're an engineer, a teacher, a, a supervisor, anything that you do. If you're bilingual, you have better opportunities. Yes. Good, yeah. Very good. Okay, next question. Uh, Julia, are you sensitive to beauty? Um, well, yeah. I think yes. Okay. What about the other ladies? Are you sensitive to beauty? No, teacher, yeah. I like oh. weird beauty. <laughs> it's beauty. Weird yeah. beauty. It's uh, relative, I think. Yeah. Belleza rara. Yes. <laughs> it's, weird. it's relative. Yeah. Something that is beauty for me is not beautiful for you. Exactly. Yes. yes. Exactly. But everybody thinks that the Capitan America is handsome. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not believing that. Okay. Me yes. neither. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> ah, 
o, o store teacher. Okay. Ah. Yeah, what Nidia is saying is true. You know, beauty is relative. I mean, it depends what you like, you know. And, and you know, by nature, when we see a person, we analyze the person, we say, well, attractive, not attractive. But I do feel that your interior is way more important than anything physical. Okay. But all of the men, uh, uh, they are attra I attraidos by the beauty, by a, be a beautiful woman. Yes. Because, because, uh, because about in order of her eyes is, is something common of them. Yeah, yeah. You know, when, when, when you are walking on the street, you're driving whatever, you ah. see a beautiful woman, you know? <laughs> El Salvador has extremely beautiful women everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I don't I'm agree. <laughs> I'm totally agree. I think that. I, I, I think that's blah, true. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's true. laughs> I agree. I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> trust me. I mean, Salvadoran women. They are very special. They are very beautiful. Yeah. How many countries have you visited, uh, ah. to say that? To say that because I think we are uh, just in the heart, teacher. The, By the way, I I, I was in women. I was in Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Me and I always said that the most beautiful women are in the Salvador. Ah, <laughs> it's true. Fred. I don't believe it. Yeah. Believe it. Believe yes. it. I don't believe you, yeah. but thank you. <laughs> no, it, it's true. You know, it, I'm very similar to Ricardo. You know, I've been to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Mexico, and the United States. And trust me, you don't see the beauty that you see here. I promise you. Because we are we are short. Uh, I don't know what else. No, no. I also I also can say that that uh, the, yes, woman from, the woman from El Salvador are better than women from Europe, China. Thank you so much. China. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, believe me. You know, Latin woman. Are more hot, the more funny, a little bit crazy. I I can say that they are always taking the risk. Okay. <laughs> they can be they can be they can be a workaholic, and there are women from other countries that they are only waiting for weather union, comforts, <laughs> money, or, or they uh, depend that on the man. That, that happened here. Yeah, in so, or depends, in so far on the, Salvador. depends on the tradition, they don't work because now they are married, something like this. <laughs> so yeah. People from, from our country are very, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I'm proud of my country and I'm proud of my people, honestly. You know, and, and, I, and I had the chance to be outside of the country for a couple of years and, and you can compare I mean, there are many things that we need to improve, but in general, I'm proud of my country. You know, politics, that's a different story, but... Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes it is. is. <laughs> yeah. Is. All right, next maybe, question. Teacher, 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 maybe our, our inner is different. Maybe our inner are very interesting. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, there are different things. Okay, question five. Lourdes, do you challenge accepted ideas? Oh, yeah, sometimes I, I, I did that. Okay. What about the others? Do you like to challenge other people's beliefs? It depends on that, of that situation. Okay. It right. depends the topic. Yeah, mm -hmm. because there are people that is like a fanatic teacher. They they and then they want to they want to fight with you for a yeah a, for example, a, a, ex idea. Exactly. About, about religion, I prefer not to talk. Mm -hmm. 
Me too, yes. in politics too. For football? Yes. <laughs> I don't like football, but the people. Do you see the chat? Let me see the chat. Agree, agree to agree. disagree. Yes. Agree to disagree. That means that other people might have mm -hmm. different opinion than yours, but you agree with their opinion, right? Maybe you don't have the same points of view, but you need to agree to disagree. Right? Right. Okay, next question goes to Douglas. Okay. Do you keep an eye out for new fashions and products? Not really. Not really. I, I thought it is important to, to dress in a correct way, but I thought it is not... It's uh, not relevant. A real, yeah, relevant. Okay, good, good. Um, Julia, do you adapt to new situations? Sorry, which one? Um, <coughs> okay. Number seven. Okay. Well, um, uh, at the start, I think it's difficult. After I adapting easily, I think. Yes. Yeah, at the beginning, I think that uh, everything takes time, but at the end, you don't have any other options but to adapt. Mm -hmm. You have to. Okay. Yes, okay, what about number eight? Do you trust your guesses, intuitions, and insights, Adrian? Well, uh, sometimes, uh, actually, sometimes I uh, I don't listen. Don't listen if. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it award me, but I don't listen it. Okay, so you don't pay attention to uh, to the voice, the internal voice. <laughs> okay. Have you seen the cartoons when you have an angel talking to you here, and then you have a a, a red yeah. one here? Yes. Yes, it happened with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know where to go. All right, uh, number nine, are you more interested in the future than in the past? Anybody? What? Are you more interested in the future than in the past? Mm, in the past, teacher, because you learn about the past and that is going to help you to improve in the future. All right, anybody else? Today's is not important for me. The future and the past. Just live the present. Because you don't know what happened to the future and the past is the past. Good. Yes. All right. Good. The past yes. is the past. Yes, I'm agree. All right. Good. Good. And the last question. Um, do you have a creative sense of humor? Wow. A little bit. Okay. So if if I go to your house and I ask about you, what would they say about you? Uy, that I'm an angry person and hungry too. Angry or hungry? Angry and hungry is a bow. And there I am a, a crazy driver. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> yes, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, in the platform, there is a. Hold on. There is a there is a listening activity. There is an audio. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had the chance to listen to it. Oh, yes. Which one? Yes. Uh, about what? The name Which one? It's about uh, things have changed, I think. Mm. So, it, 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 
in the audio, in the audio, they ask you to identify how many tenses you hear in the conversation. Um, Peter, what is the number or the section? Four. Yes, was the audio is in. So uh, it I'm was. Uh -huh. it, I, I guess it, it was about people who use earphones. No. Not exactly. Mm. It, it's a little bit different. Mm, so I'm, I'm okay, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mute everybody mm -hmm. so you guys can hear well. And uh, just pay attention. If you can take notes, take notes because in the platform, they will ask you questions about the audio. Okay. Are you ready? Wait, wait. Wait. Yes. Yeah, no, wait. Ready. wait, wait, please. Teacher number what the audio four, four, three. Listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? 1. Samira Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect, and the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy. You know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own. All done. Okay, were you able to um, hear the audio? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your occupation? An architect. an architect. She's an architect, right. And she mentioned some things that she has to be taken into account. Which things? It has to be created. Yeah. Right? What else? I'm going they, to one more time. To be, they need to recycle things to adapt to needs? Yes, they have to recycle. She says, Yes, stay on top of friends. What did she mention? Okay, I'm going to <laughs> okay. can hear anything. I can, I hear, can you. hear you very well. Yeah. yeah. Listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? One, Samira. Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect, and the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy. You know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. 
No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Okay. <laughs> were you able Not to yet. understand what they were saying? She works. She said that she is an architect and she works in design and she really needs inno inno innovative ideas. Uh huh. Okay. Now, what else do you guys remember? How many hours does she work? Long hours. Long hours. Long hours. Long hours. Long hours. That he or she works long hours. What does that mean? More than eight More hours than a day. Eight hours. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe ten, maybe twelve, and maybe you barely have time to. Okay. Uh, any questions? No. Very well. We can hear you clearly. Yes. Difficult. Yeah. Okay. We have. I have problem to hear you. Okay. I can hear you clearly. Your mic, teacher. Maybe your microphone is. <laughs> You hear me now? Oh, yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. How is the quality of the sound of the audio? The audio was very good. Is it acceptable? No, it's yeah. perfect. Yes. Okay. So let's hear the second part. Pay attention. small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. Three, Naomi. <coughs> okay. Um Do you remember what he said? About, about competition. Okay, yes, he mentions competition. What did Maybe. he say about competition? Mm. He said that he was his own boss. Exactly. So what did he say? Who does he talk to when there is a problem? He said that he don't have any boss to talk because he is the, the boss. He's own boss. He's his own boss. Okay. Do you remember his name? Alex. Alex, uh-huh. Alex. Alex. Okay. And what kind of business does he have? Our business? Small business. Uh, a big business. It's a small, it's, small it's, business. It's, no, it's a small business. A small business. Okay. Oh, no, small business. Okay. Now, do which details does he mention when he talks about uh, competition? What did he say about competition? Do you remember? Okay, I'm gonna play it a, a second mm -hmm. time. Okay. Okay. 
owners, especially small business owners. The job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. All right, so, so what did he say? That it, to be a lot of creative, it is really difficult. Um, to, it is difficult to be to, active than yeah, the competition he, because you need a lot of um, the, to be creative. The, the, he needs to identify the customs. Customers? Customers, yes. Customers. Customers. Okay. And he says that he the has to make, make your own business more attractive or something like that. Okay, good. Someone else? Yes, he did mention the word customers. He says you need to identify them. And what else did he say? That he needs to, to be creative to, to attract them and to identify the customer's needs. Exactly. Exactly. So you need to identify, be able to identify what your customer needs, right? So if you have what they need, then you're more successful. So do, do, did you hear his name? Alex. 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 And, what, and what kind of business does he have? The small business. Small business service. Okay. Did he give any examples of the different activities he's doing? Uh, he answered the phone. He said he, yes. He, 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 does, he did everything. He did account. He does everything. Yeah. He sells. He is Facebook. Okay. Good. Good. Now let me ask you this. Um, do you prefer? Working for somebody, or do you prefer having your own business? Well, it's a really good question. Yeah. Oh, well, well, well. He's got pros and cons. Yes. Yeah. A lot of pros and cons. Yes. Because if you are, as he says, you need you you will get a lot of problems because you don't have. Uh, right hand, for example, you start from the bottom. Right. You have to fall on your own. So that is a disadvantage. Yeah. In, now, but, now, but with the time, the process, and if you are, uh, in, if you got a, a successful business, you will get the the earn. So that's the. Of course, the 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 good part of the of that if you got your own business. Okay, now what would be one advantage of having your own business? One advantage. Like you can have you your are schedule. you are the boss. You are the boss. You don't have a schedule. Or money. Ah. Uh, you can be a boss or you can be leader. Okay, good. Yeah, now, if you if you are a boss, you can give only indication order, but mm -hmm. if you are a leader, you can work with your team. Okay, good, good. 
Now, can you mention one advantage of working for a company? Security. Okay. Experience. Experience. Well, Experience. Like stability. Security. Yes. Stability. Trainings. Okay. You have a lot Benefit. of trainings. Okay. Salary teacher. Okay. So, so you know that. He said that he broke his handgun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now can you mention one disadvantage of working for someone else? Uh, the benefits. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yes, teacher. Advantage. Sometimes you don't have benefit in a, a company. Okay. So if they're breaking a, the law. If you get a bad, <laughs> bad. <laughs> Sometimes they, they want that you work uh, uh, out your schedule. Okay. Extra hours. Overtime. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without no pay. pay. No pay. No pay. Yeah, no pay. Okay. I have the telephone for Ministerio de Trabajo if you need it. <laughs> I, I know this one. Write it in the chat. <laughs> it's what hundred thirty is you want to call me there. <laughs> All right. Yes, That's too bad for you, man. We have a question in the in the platform about the, the occupation of Alex. Uh, what's the question? Um, it, what the what about their occupation? What does each person do? So I tried with uh, owner business. Uh, Run a business, small business owner, small business, and everything is wrong. I don't know. Really? Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I remember about okay. the department store. What's the yes, name of, of a guy yes. that that who works in a department yes. store? Yes. yes, they know about this situation. I I didn't know about this exercise in particular. You're saying, look, all the answers are bad. <laughs> But like I said at the beginning, don't worry about the answers because they know the people that are behind the platform, they know that there are some issues with it. So don't don't worry. But we need to have 80% to pass. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes, you need 80, but like I said, they are aware of the situation. So uh, don't worry. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. So it's that time again. Thank Excuse me. You very what, is, much. what will be the right answer? Uh, if, uh, what What was the question exactly, Nidia? It says, uh, "Listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi." Okay. Uh -huh. About the occupations. What does each person do? Okay. So I, like, um, many of us said, small business owner. Run a small business, owner, boss. What will be okay, the? Okay, let me let me check the answers and I'll share the answer in the chat. Okay. Because I don't remember okay, exactly so what the options really... are. Okay, okay. But I'll, I'll, I'll listen to it. Small business and once owner. I get the answer, I'll, I'll share it with you guys. Okay. I tried okay, with thanks. small business owner. Okay. Okay. I really appreciate that. It, it was fine for me. All right. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll see you guys Bye. tomorrow night. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Mil años más tarde. Bye-bye. Mil años más tarde. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Chupenla todos.